Another method of organizing in Photoshop can be done by generating groups. Groups can be generated right off the bat by clicking on this little folder icon in the, what is it called, layers panel. You can also go to layers and select new group. So I guess I'll do that from here. That can also be done from the panels side menu as well. Let's see. Where is it? New group. I'm just use my preferred method by clicking on this little folder icon. Once the folder icon has been clicked, you'll sh you should see this item that says group one. So I'm going to label this. Go ahead and select group or, you know, go ahead and create a group and then label it text. So we have a folder that's labeled text and any layer that you wish to organize or anything that you wish to place within that folder, you must first select that layer and then drag it and drop it into the folder. You see the little blue outline there indicating that the layer is ready to be moved to that section. Well, if you move it over the folder icon, you should notice that the folder icon is now surrounded with a little blue outline. So once you see that little blue outline, you let go of the layer. It has now been placed within that folder. You see the little, the slight indentation there indicating that it is now a sub category of this layer panel set. You can also see it expand and collapse as you click and expand and collapse the folder. So do that with both sets of text as far as the text layer is concerned. Place both text layers within a text labeled folder. To indicate that it is part of the group, you can turn the eyeball icon on and off, as you can see right there, and you can also see the layers collapse and expand as you play around with the folder. Make one more folder. I'm going to click on the icon here. Actually, I'll do it from the menu. We'll go to Layer, New, and we'll select Group. This is where we get a chance to label it, right? So I'm going to call this one Image, or IMG for Image. And then I'm just going to leave everything as it is. From here, I'm going to grab my images and place them within this folder. One, two, three, and four images within the images folder. So if I click the image folder icon there, you'll see all of the items disappear. And I'm going to save my progress. And we'll go over a few more things regarding folders or groups and colors or color tabs.